Is Silicon Valley going bankrupt? As you may have heard, DeepSync R1 just came out and it is 96% cheaper than ChatGPT. This is a Sputnik moment for AI. Just like how Sputnik started the space race, this model started the AI arms race. So is the West really cooked and can they really compete? You have to understand there's a couple moving parts here. Energy is really expensive in the West. America has been stagnating for the last 20 years and the EU has high energy costs, especially due to some of the sanctions. We've seen Amazon, Google, Microsoft, and Meta create their own data centers and they're looking to power them with nuclear reactors. Doubling effect is going to be every four years, data centers need more and more electricity. So these reactors are going to be a lifeline for these tech companies. And Microsoft is turning on Three Mile Island. Yeah, that Three Mile Island that had a nuclear explosion. Meta is also going to need about two nuclear power plants. And nuclear is the choice here because AI needs energy and it's hungry for energy as it's growing. The problem is we're short about 17 or 20 nuclear reactors in America because China added 300 gigawatts of wind and solar in 2024 alone, but they only have 65 gigawatts of nuclear power where America has about 100 gigawatts of nuclear power. But China is going to double that to 150 gigawatts by 2035. Is this a breaking point for the West. We can't keep up because of stringent regulations. We can't keep up because we don't have the energy and we can't keep up because China is state-sponsored energy, which is going to lead to the abundance of AI. There was a lot of restrictions here that's happening, but so far, if you check the, the math, the coding, the problem solving, it is better than open AI. This is going to hurt Silicon Valley because they can no longer be the paywall to information. Anyone can download DeepSync and put it on their computer and have it for free without the internet. Anyone can go to DeepSync right now and use the AI without any limits for free. If you're worried about China being a leader in AI, this is open source under MIT. You can change it, you can remove things, you can customize it. It is just going to lead to a renaissance of technology. Now, is this shift really happening? Is energy the currency of AI supremacy? The West challenges are aging, infrastructure, slow adoption to nuclear power plants, and regulatory friction in AI growth. China's edge is really just the cheap abundant energy plus open source equals the democratization of innovation. Deep Seek Sputnik moment, just as Sputnik triggered the space race, R1 signals a paradigm shift where energy abundance and open source collaboration, not proprietary SaaS's define the future. Do you already use Deep Sync? And tell me what your initial reactions are from it.